So Louis, what's uh, what's this stuff here? Bacon. And? It's my first time to eat this in breakfast. First time to have bacon for breakfast. That's true, and uh, I'm going to tell you some more things about Louis today because this is just really interesting what having uh, this Filipino barcada on the trip is uh, a lot of firsts are happening. So anyways, i got to eat breakfast, put my headband on, and then we're going to have a new day, and we're also going to learn about this guy. Frey Frey. Frey Frey. Frey Frey. <laughs> okay, so I said today is going to be a day of firsts. Well, actually, it was just the morning Louis uh, had his first ever baking experience. There's Louis. Now, now he's having a brownie. <laughs> Anyways, this is my first morning finally in the fighter truck and we're going to be heading now across the San Juanico Bridge to Samar, the longest bridge in the Philippines. But yesterday I picked up something which is amazing. Are you ready for it? Da, 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 da. This is a mango float. And you can actually buy these uh, from the cafe in Ormoc we went to, the Unit 1A, uh, yesterday. And I have my bamboo spoon that I carry with me everywhere. Oh man. So good. This is so good. Look at this. Graham, anything with graham cracker is yeah. like the best. The best. Mango, whatever's in there, all that creamy goodness. That's it's, that's that's one of the best desserts. All this time. is an incredible way to start the day. Mango float in the morning. The fighter jet goes to Samar! Woo! Pee big, pee big, Mike. I don't have to pee, but I'll try to pee. You gonna pee? Do you know how to say pee in Filipino? E he. E he? Yeah, e he. I'll just stick with pee. It's one one syllable. There. E he. All right, so we've stopped on the side of the road. It's a uh, pee break. <laughs> just to be blunt. Anyways, we are in Samar. Now, if you didn't know, this is Samar Island. It is actually home to three provinces. There's Eastern Samar, Northern Samar, and Samar, which we're in right now. Uh, this is the land of Warai. Louis, how many words do you know in Warai? I... You know none? No, because I didn't know. Exactly. In Warai ever? See, Louis doesn't know any words in Warai because Louis actually never left Mindanao. This is his first trip outside of Mindanao. How old are you, man? 25. 25. So imagine that. This is really, really cool. One of the cool things about today, everything we're going to do is going to be new to Louis. Yeah. So, so it makes me excited on this trip. Um, if you want to know a word in Warai, my opa and aga, good morning. Uh, you can say marasa, means delicious. Uh, yeah, there's lots of different words. Pagi na kamo, take care. I'll try and teach some of the boys that, but. Uh, we're gonna see if uh, Finn and Dan show up. I think we just drove past them, so. Welcome to Samar Island. Mike, just yell Marasa. 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 Oh, you didn't, you didn't yell that. That means delicious. Marasa. 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 Oh, he's got a thumb. Watch out, Mike. They got guards here. There's serious guards here, man. Serious guards. Get him, get him. 
<laughs> That's called Luthung. It's a bamboo gun that they made themselves. Yeah, paper. Buy a bit. Buy a bit. This is called a sofa. Just here. What is it? Don't hit me. No. Ah. It's so small. What is it? Just a piece of paper. Paper lab. Yeah. It's incredible. In that video with the music, dude, 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 dude. What's happening, man? You made the steps. These steps look so exciting in your video, and there's like lots of music and stuff. You're like, Lang, Monetia. Let's go, guys. It's <laughs> <laughs> a great impersonation. It's a great impersonation. <laughs> Welcome to the Olet River. Olet means monkey in Warai. Uh, we're gonna go down in these extreme torpedo boats. Boys are gonna have a good time, and I'm excited as well because Louis in the house. Louis in the house. Yeah. First time, bro. Yeah. Hello, Frey. Frey, Frey. Happy though. We're starting this adventure now. The river is really low, so that means there's lots of rocks. That's not a good thing. Look at us, Look at us. Look at us. Look at Right now. This is incredible. Oh, I actually can't get over it. It's perfect. It's just so beautiful. It's perfect. It's so beautiful. But it also makes no sense. But makes sense. It, yes. It makes no sense, but it makes sense. It's mind blowing. Check of the trade. Oh, 
Louis's pretty good, man. Louis's pretty good. I'll save you, Louis! I'll save you! <laughs> it's nice and refreshing man yeah. this is so refreshing this is what i love about this activity is you come down the river and then you have a chance to relax and swim this is called denny's point and uh louis this is your first day ever in samar oh yeah first day That's ever great. in samar Woo! So fuck on man So I'm just casually floating down the Ullet River. The boys are playing around, having a jump. Oh, this is a life. Sometimes I forget. I'm just in the middle of an island, a tropical forest. Uh, you know, in the middle of South Pacific region of the world. And whew, it's just so beautiful, so peaceful. It's the kind of activity that everyone can enjoy because you don't even have to do anything. You just sit and have fun. And then you can come down here and just if you don't want to jump, you just relax like this. Oh. oh so you like more than 20 guys, Dito. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Tinani, okay. It's uh Paranas. But I'm a Oh. 18. Are you only 18? Yeah. No way, man. Cool. <laughs> so, did you tap tap us Squalahan? Tap us Squalahan? Or? So, with Dati? Or? Ma, nag-aaral pa po sir. Ah, did you, did you like, go to high school here yeah. before? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Ilang, ilang, uh, months po trabaho dito? Ilang, ilang taon? Ako, sir? Oh. Almost two years na po. Two years, my guy. Yeah. Cool, man. And, and Dati, did you used to drive, like, magsakay sa bangka? Ah. Uh, Hello? Ilang ilang taan first time magsakay sa bangka dito? No. No man po nung the first. Yeah, first time like magdrive. Magdrive lang. Oh. Hindi po gusto ma marami mong drive ng boat. Oh, you know you're my guy just like oh steering, go bug side. Like the paddle. Ah, it's like the point man, point man. Ah yes man. Practicing with Tagalog. <laughs> See, medyo mahirap waray. Waray dito, actually. Gusto ko salita kasama ang... Ano pangalan again? Ronel. Ronel. Yeah, gusto ko salita kasama Ronel in Tagalog. But, uh, <laughs> again, magsalita marami basaya. So, minsan, do ko sa ilong, but... Anyways, I guess, but... It's <laughs> nice Ronel. Woo! It's cool, man. Teach Brett cinematics. Hey, Dan! Dan! You're very Lorong. Naka Lorong ka. Lorong. Kuang, palyo. Such a bad name. <laughs> How did you know Lorong? How did you know Lorong? I'm smart. He knew it. Lorong is well right for crazy. Alright guys, so what's interesting is this used to be an area that was basically full of lots of illegal logging up until 2010 when they initiated this. Now, you've been around the world, Mike. I have been. And you must have been to many areas where there's lots of illegal logging. I have been. And have you seen anything like this ever created, like a tourism activity or...? Uh, no, honestly, like, illegal logging something is a bit misunderstood because a lot of people think it's just like these sketchy guys who are like, oh, like, I'm gonna steal the forest and sell it on the black market. But most, most it's just guys and families who can't feed their kids and then this is like the best way they can find out. And it's not, it's not legal, but they're like, I gotta feed my baby, so I gotta do what I can. And this is really cool because it's like sustainable travel at its finest, that you're taking something that's illegal and bad for the environment, but they don't have another choice, giving them a better choice, and it shows that people will make the better choice if there is one presented to them, right? True. And actually, this is one of those activities that you enjoy doing it, and it just feels super good to pay for it. And of course, what goes down must go up. We're going back up the river. Let's enjoy the sun going down and relax. How about that, Dan? Burning really badly. Oh, <laughs> oh, ah, ah. <laughs> so much <much>
<laughs> the chicken was running the side of the boat. She's chilling hard! Oh man, we're back on dry land. Let's go get, uh, whew, go get dried up and then sort out our day. You know, you gotta tip the guides with a little bit of fighter wine as well because uh, that's... I like the piquin. What? Are you, you gonna give them more extra as well? Oh, dude, that's really nice of <laughs> you, man. Dude, hey, enjoy, hey, enjoy, hey, enjoy. Dude, bro, that's amazing, bro. <laughs> dude, we're gonna keep tipping. Tip local tour guides, support them because it's local activities like this that not only give you an amazing experience, but also, you know, gives these guys a great livelihood and a very respectful one, so rock on. Oh, you guys don't have it here. No, we're lost to Samar. Oh yeah, fighter wine doesn't actually exist in Samar, so we'll get more. We'll get more. We'll get more. One sec, really. No more. No more. All our river boys, that's the fighter boys. We combined, had a really good time. But before we leave, ow, and these ants are biting me. <laughs> before, before we leave, we're gonna teach these guys a special face because I know the fighter boys didn't learn any while ride today. Guys, you know the rat face? Well, in while ride, it's yatut. Yatut, yatut. So everybody, in while ride, yatut is rat. So, three, two, one, yatut face. Yatut, yatut.